And a big, big, big congrats on Senior Moment. It's a fun movie about living in the moment, really. Yes, that's what it is. I mean, you know, uh, we, we are lucky enough to live in a society where age is less and less of a problem. I mean, unless you have health problems, but that's another story. So we, we were lucky to find the script and we just loved it and shape it with the actors to the result that you have now. Yeah, I was looking at your film credits, Mr. Giorgio, and it's quite varied. You know, there, there are thrillers, a kid's movie about Pegasus, <laughs> documentaries, and now you have a romantic comedy with William Shatner and Senior Moment. How did you zero in on this project? Okay, I have to give the credit to Gina Goff, the producer, because we were pitching around other kind of project, another project, and when she received a phone call from William Shatner saying that he wanted to do the film, so during lunch, as we were pitching this other project, she asked me if I wanted to do a comedy with William Shatner. And of course, I answered yes, but I have to warn you, Gina, I never did a comedy before. You know, I'm more, uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'm Italian, now I'm American, but um, I did a lot of period drama back in Europe. Uh, here, I did a lot of action and thrillers. Yes, you're right. I had a lot of pleasure to work with kids in, uh, in that kid movie. Um, so, you know, I'm, listen, I, I love to work. I love to be on set. I love the connection with the actors. And this film was a blessing because I had such a great cast. Oh, exactly. I was just going to say that you're blessed with a great cast, beginning with William Shatner, who I've always think has great comedic timing. I mean, really, truth be told, it's fun to see an 89 year old actor headlining a movie nowadays about seniors having their moment in the sun. Right. Yes. I mean, uh, that's his age. But the guy is unbelievable. I, mean, <laughs> it is, I thought I was like full of energy and always, you know, uh, but, but when you meet William Shatter, you go like, how did that happen? And he doesn't know himself. I mean, except the fact that he's always, always busy. He keeps himself always doing things. I remember we shot the scene up until two in the morning. Wow. And, um, and the next day, because it was a Friday and, and, and on Saturday morning, he had to take a plane in at the LAX to go to a convention. And we offered him, of course, a car with a chauffeur to go back to LAX from yeah. Palm Springs. He said, no, no, are you kidding? I'm driving myself. He left at two in the morning. He was at the airport at six and he came back for Monday morning shoot. I mean, the guy is unbelievable. Wow. What about, you know, it's also great to see Christopher Lloyd, by the way. How is it working with him? Uh, I... You know, was it really work? I thought it was pleasure. <laughs> I mean, it was so easy. It was just so easy. Uh, with both of them in different ways. But uh, Chris was always my first choice. Uh, but I was a little bit concerned that he would not accept because, you know, it, it doesn't have long monologues. It doesn't have that many lines. Yeah. Well. Too bad for me because I didn't realize that Chris knows how to find his space into a scene, even if he doesn't speak. Yeah. He finds, you know, it's not overbearing, it's not stealing the scene, he just finds his place. Yeah. And that's such a wonderful thing to see. And, uh, and he created this character. I mean, basically, our, the biggest part of our conversation was like, um, is that okay with you, director? And I said, oh, I love it. Uh, Fantastic, let's do it. <laughs> you know, and the screen lights up every time Jean Smart shows up. What about her? How was it working with her? It was, well, it was also very easy in a very different way. Uh, Jean and I have a, a strange little story is that we met probably eight years ago uh, on a train going from San Diego to Los Angeles. <laughs> and we became friends because our kids start playing together. Uh, so, and the, the interesting thing about Jean is that when she's at home, she never talks about her work. 
So not even once we ever say to each other, oh, it will be great to work together, you know, uh, in the future. And then this script came along and I talked to the producer and I said, well, I'm gonna call her. I mean, she's perfect for this. And it was easy also, Jean uh, is a little bit different than, for example, than Chris, is that she thinks every single detail. Oh, good, yeah. And, uh, but then it comes out extremely natural. So she has like this script filled with notes. And I remember that once Bill and I, uh, William Shatner and I, we were trying to pick into her script just to understand what did she write. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but the, the, the chemistry between the two is absolutely fantastic. And I, you know, I mean, I couldn't be more pleased than that. I absolutely agree. And you know what? Senior Moment takes advantage of its gorgeous location. My hometown plays a major part in the film. Now, was Palm Springs its original setting from the script or was it decided at the last minute? No, uh, the, the original setting was in Florida. Okay. And uh, Gina Goff, the producer, is from Palm Springs. I mean, in the area. Yeah. And, uh, and she said, you know, it's going to be a little bit more expensive because, of course, it's always about money. But I really would love to shoot it here. And I say, you know what? It will be perfect. I mean, I love Palm Springs. We had a fantastic time, but also as a director and the actors being that easy to work with, most of my work was really to find, to frame the story in the best way possible for the narration of the film. And, you know, to be in the desert with all this beautiful, but long and, and, uh, and uh, you know, uh, and, and th this beautiful um, mid-century houses, it was, uh, it was such a pleasure to shoot the film there and to, to create the visual for the film. So very colorful, almost like your jacket. And, uh, <laughs> congratulations and um and we loved it we just it, yeah. uh, there is not one thing i can say about this film that will be even remotely dark or negative it was Aww. well take us on the bridge it, it was fun to spot some of the places that you shot um take us on a virtual tour of some of the locations like for instance william shatner's characters homer was that was that in palm springs Proper. Yeah, that was totally in Palm Springs. I mean, honestly, I don't remember the, the name of the street. Yeah. But uh, it was in Palm Springs, and the house where we shot his house and the party by the pool was the same house, actually. So we split the location. Um, I mean, almost the the senior home is in Palm Spring, and also the the big uh, scene with the torch was falling. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that's also, it was very close. Um, what about Gene Smart's Cafe? That too, that too. It's Palm Springs and it's actually, I think it was originally a painter's workshop. Okay. That the set designer transformed into, into her, uh, her coffee shop. Yeah. And her apartment... I think was part of a gallery or something like that that we we changed. So, it, I mean, almost everything in, is Palm Springs, and when it's not Palm Springs, it's just uh, the neighborhood. I think the the farthest location was the BMW race track oh, yeah. in the desert, in Coachella Valley. Yeah, way down there. Yeah. Yeah, that's that was the farthest location, but it was worth it. Oh yeah. And, uh, then I don't think that a hospital was actually in Palm Springs, maybe, you know, but, you know, it's all very close. And, yeah. uh, and you feel it when you're in Palm Springs, you feel the community and it's, and they just opened the door. I mean, I remember doing a film, a thriller in LA where I needed a hospital and we had to rebuild it in, uh, in a studio because we could not get a permission. Yeah. And in Palm Springs, I say, yeah, sure, no problem. Come anytime. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what, though, too, Mr. Giorgio, it was fun to see some of our famous Palm Springs residents like Ruta Lee, Kate oh. Ballard. 
you know, I have, I, I knew uh, Wesley, you were, I knew most of them. I have to admit, uh, Ruta Lee came at the last minute on set. So I didn't do my research very well. And I was very, it was a very, very busy day. So she does her, she says, her bit was supposed to have no lines. And she comes to me and she says, well, you know, uh, I would love to be in your film, but I can, I don't want to be an extra. I said, okay, well, you know, do you have an idea? And she said, yeah, yeah, I wrote a few lines. I said, okay. So she did her bits and, you know, I wasn't sure if I would keep the lines or not. And then when I was in the editing room, I said, but I know this woman. So I checked her out and I was like, oh my, that's Ruta Lee from, you know, Seven <laughs> Brides. <laughs> and uh, so I wrote her an email apologizing oh. that I was so busy and that, uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't do my research that well and how much my mother loved Seven Brides, you know. Oh. And she was, she wrote me an, uh, an answer that I will always cherish. She's such a class act. A fantastic woman. And by the way, I, I kept her line in the editing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you did <laughs> and you know what too it's also here's the bottom line why i enjoyed it i mean it's a rare sighting like what i said earlier but it was fun seeing older people having fun kissing smoking pot you know <laughs> yeah. very believable <laughs> right exactly now before i have my senior moment mr Giorgio, i just want to say senior moment opens in select theaters on march 26th what do you hope for viewers to get from watching the film? A great time. A few laughs, a great time, and feel uplifted, especially in a moment like this. Aww. So, you know, that's the most important thing for me. Oh, well, thank you. I'm sure they'll have fun with it. Um, and thank you and congrats again on Senior Moment. You can always come back and shoot more movies here, you know? Uh, I would love to. <laughs> I, I hope very soon. Great. Thank you and good luck on everything, Mr. Giorgio. Thank you. Have a great <laughs> Bye bye. <laughs>